Hello there and welcome back to Running Dungeons and Random Armor Set. So last time I set a like goal of 600 likes for part 4 and you guys completely smashed it once again. If you're enjoying this series and you're not already subscribed then subscribe because there's so many people watching that haven't subscribed yet and I'm on the mission to get that YouTube rank so it would mean a lot. And if you want to help me out and you're already subscribed then just leave a like because it helps more than you can imagine. Also I'm kind of running low on strange armor sets that I could use so if you do have any suggestions please comment them below. Anyway enough of me going on, let's get right into the armor sets. The first armor set that I'm using today is another really good old armor set. This armor set used to give you some of the highest health and highest intelligence in the game and a lot of people may know it as the armor set that Technoblade used to become the fastest man of this game and if you haven't already guessed that's the magma armor. Magma armor sets are oh, they're, they're okay it kind of lacks on health and defense just at base which is made up for the full set bonus which is every 10 magma cubes you kill you get plus one health and plus one intelligence which caps at 200. So by killing 2000 magma cubes you will get 200 intelligence and 200 HP. As you can see by my mana bar I only have 421 mana right now but this is unreal reforged because I think I'm gonna go with mage setup with it mainly because of the mana boost that you get on the armor and there we go full wise magma armor with this entire set and no pet equipped we get up to 821 mana well it's well, not too bad actually so I feel like we could be doing some decent damage in dungeons with this set and after fully enchanting all of this our effective HP only goes up to 6k which is just nothing that's like the same of that's like the same as skeleton master outside of dungeons so pretty much any dungeons armor set will get you more effective HP than this but you know that's not the main thing you're looking at here you're mainly looking at the amount of mana that you get. And with something like a sheep pet, that can get up to 1k, but mine's not level 100, so it's still got a bit more to go. I don't really feel like bringing back out the ember rod because that was just entirely useless last time. I don't think it's really gonna be worth me using it. So I need to think of another major weapon to use. And I think I'm gonna go with the bonzo staff, you know? It, the bonzo staff is a blaze rod, we're covered in magma. It makes sense. It works, right? Okay, okay. We're basically just the neverman this time. Also, because I'm using the magma armor, I may as well get my magma bow out. It's a pretty decent bow. It does double damage if you use magma cream in your quiver. I I'll, I'll buy some for this actually, but we're probably not going to be maining this weapon anyway. Yeah, there we go, that should do it. They should have like magma essence or something so you could upgrade this to dungeon armor and same with the bow. Anyway, I'm just going to get some utility items like my zombie sword, aspect of the end, the spirit leaps and, and some of my talismans actually. And my mana flux too. Okay, and we're pretty much everything ready. Let's try our dungeon run. I think I'm just going to do a floor one. I don't know if we can even survive a floor one to be honest with this little defense. Actually not, ju just so I can get that little added bonus, I'm going to do, I'm going to get forbidden intelligence one before I go. That will help us out a tiny bit. Now we're going to be doing like five more damage. Okay, let's let's see if we can like clean out these rooms easily. Okay, let's see if we can get to like a room by ourselves and see how much damage we're actually doing with the staff. So on just a regular undead skeleton, we're doing around 39k per bonzo staff. It was was pretty decent. But the thing is we are literally the biggest glass like known to man. If if you're keeping a track of the health down there, it's just not doing too well. I need to keep up my zombie swords and keep on healing. Oh god, an angry archaeologist here. Let's see if we can take him out. I'm gonna thunderstorm. I'm just gonna keep back my bonzo staff. I'm gonna try and keep him at bay right here. Oh my god, oh my god, he does so much damage. He does so much damage to me. I have literally zero health. Get out of here. Get out of here. He's got nothing on me. He's got absolutely nothing. We took him out easy peasy at a lemon squeezy. That's just the power of mana. I haven't played- oh god. I just ran in remembering about the old times of mage where you just take zero damage and kill everything. I forgot that I can actually die in this armor. Let's see if I, we can take out this young dragon because I'm pretty sure if you just spam this like this he, he doesn't talk onto you. Okay and there we go. Loss is taken out. Let's just swoop in and get those free frags and free money. Let's just go into this room and help clean out this loss actually. We, we, can, we can kill him in the fairy pond easy. Easily. This loss has absolutely zilch on me. I love using Bonzo Staff again. It's not as OP as it used to be, but like, it's, it's still great. I, I really need to watch out for the Dreadlords as well. I, f I forget how much damage they can do to me. Oh, thank God that trap was defused. Otherwise, I okay. I was going to say, otherwise I'll be dead, but I'm dead anyway. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, pain. What can you expect when you have like 6k effective HP? Oh, okay, there we go. I just got revived because of the, the, the funny red room. But with a few more secrets, we got up to 8k effective HP. Was still way worse than any like dungeon set, but, but you know, <laughs> we're trying our best out here with a 300 defense. That's just like half a regular dragon set. And this armor used to be the best armor back in the day. It's kind of crazy. And we're on to Bonzo. Let's do it. Let's place down our, our orb, our orbies. Let's just destroy Bonzo with the Bonzo staff. We gotta kill him with his own weapon. That's all he deserves. Okay, okay. May maybe, maybe he does a bit of damage to me. Maybe the undeads do like a tiny bit of damage. But you know, it's not that bad. It's only like a quarter of my health per hit. And Bonzonio is dead. What a noob. What an actual noob. He can't even survive. I don't know what kind of run we got. Okay, we got an A run in this run. So, pff, obviously it's floor one, so you're not going to get any profit from it. Oh wait, maybe we did, because humans are 1.2 mil. I take back what I said about profit. We made like 120k profit without the frags. Easy claps. First armor set done. Let's just stick our magma armor back.
back and move on to the next armor set. So next, I'm gonna be trying to run dungeons in Ender Armor. And I guess for the people that are in Ender Armor right now, like as their main armor set, you can kind of use this as a guide what to go. I don't currently have Ender Armor, so I'm just gonna buy buy some from the AH. Okay, and there we go. We got the entire set for around 200k. Next thing I'm gonna do is obviously enchant it, get some growth, get some prot on it, and then reforge it. Okay, I got it fully enchanted, and I think I'm just gonna reforge it to fierce, because I'm guessing this is just kind of the armor set that a lot of mid-game players have right now. Feels like I'm back in the old day. Also, as you can see right here, this is probably gonna be the weapon that I'm using, the aspect of the end. Because this is like the main sword I see people with Ender Armor using. I'm just gonna buy a pre-made sword book as well. And there we go. Got a maxed out aspect of the end. And also we leveled up enchanting as well. Okay, yeah, there we go. Sharp on it, get a bit of crit chance, get a bit of crit damage on it. And I think we're good to go here. To go along with the armor set as well, I'm gonna use the Enderman pet. This just gives me a decent amount of crit damage and, you know, and you know, what would the Ender Armor and aspect of the end be without the Enderman pet? We just gotta go full end. Pretty much end game right here. And because we're only in Ender Armor, I can't use my mana flux because I don't think a lot of people in Ender Armor can use a mana flux. So I'm probably just gonna stick to the aspect of the end and the Ender Armor and, and play Berserk. Also just gonna do an entrance floor because I'd say if, if you are using this setup, then it's best just to do an entrance floor, get yourself some dungeon items and go on from there. And I guess you could say this is kind of a little guide to what people in Ender Armor should do, or you can just take it as me wanting to put myself in as much pain as possible in dungeons. <laughs> oh god, we got someone doing the Lapis Armor challenge. I feel like I'm gonna be carrying this in Ender Armor, well it's just, it's just pain. Full damage I do 30k and I've already got a better sword that I could use, but you know I'm not gonna use that because that, that's cheating. That's, that's, that's actually cheating and we die immediately, oh my god. Oh, we got no chance. <laughs> this is gonna go so horribly, let me just give my teammates some strength. You know, I can just use my aspect of the end to get some good secrets. Oh, I can throw down these training baits and get that, that one strength and just pop off. Oh my god, wait, wait, it's just someone on 200 health and me left alive. I think I may have to carry this. <laughs> Oh no, no. Okay, at least our teammates are reviving now. Let's let's go and let's go on this uh, on this dude. Actually, wait, no, he's I've already half health. Oh, uh, can I summon these these little gremlin demon whatever things they are? Well, the Ragnaroks or whatever rock faced Dwayne's. Okay, yes, go in, go in, go in, get him, 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 get him. And okay, okay, no, I don't want to die. I want to try and get the frags and maybe get the kill off, but okay. Oh wells, oh wellsies. I think yeah, but I'll just let my I'll just let my entire team do the one creepy room. I think that's I think that's a good plan for us, and you know, not not spend our time actually exploring the dungeon. Yeah, that's 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 the best thing to do, team. You you got this. You can do the one puzzle that's made for one person. Okay, okay, actually maybe it's not best to camp in here. Aspect of the end. No way, I got stuck in a wall from the aspect of the end. Pain. Who cares? As we go back in, we charge in, brothers. There's an angry archaeologist here. I'm gonna try and lead him into this room, but he's just gonna bow spam me because he's a dumb bow spammer. I think we can kind of tank him out in here, especially if we get our Ragnaroks off and try and actually stay in the fairy pond instead of leaving it. That could be a smart idea, or my teammates could just lure him away and, and do the do all the work. Well, and that was kind of sad. I wanted to do the work. And there we go. We got him dead. Pretty much soloed. I mean, we probably could have soloed him if our teammates didn't come in and lure him away from us, but you know, we did great, I think, maybe, potentially. There's like a 50-50% chance. I mean, our team's kind of dying, so I, I gotta kind of carry them through this in my end Oh, God. No, 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 I, did, I didn't mean to go in the crusher trap. Let me through. Oh, thank God. Thank God, yes, die undead skeleton. I don't need you here. I don't need the added stress of being shot at whilst I'm doing a trap room. They're all just dying to the undeads in the boss room. I think I might just let my team do blood and just kind of explore this. Oh, wait, a yellow room. I don't think we can do the yellow room. I, I really, okay. Um, I mean, <laughs> they just cleared it before I could even go in anyway. Cool mobs. The dungeon runs over, but I can still kill mobs. Let's go to the yellow room then. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is going to be the easiest yellow room of my life. Just go and Ragnarok. Go, go crazy. Go stupid. I can just outstrafe this man like a madman. I can I can do the funny anime teleport behind and stab him thing as well. <laughs> my entire team's just going to the dungeons hub and I'm just hit. Wait, he can't hit me. Can he not hit me? Wait, he actually can't hit me. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm immortal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the party so I can't get- Okay, no. He can Dragon's Breath me, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm literally just sat here immortal. I found a weird little glitch thing. So yeah, you know, I'm just cleaning out Yellow Room Lost Adventurers in my Ender Armor, just the usual. They've literally got nothing on me. <laughs> I think it's because they all warped out instead of going through the portal, actually. I think that's why I still open. <laughs> oh my god, he gaps up so much. I, do, I just want him to die as beans so long, and there we go, we finally got the frags. <laughs> I can't even look at the maze because of my dungeon map to just the, just the completed screen. Oh wait, what? No, I just got warped out. 
Aw, what a shame. I guess, I guess that's the end of the run then. I mean, we, we did okay. Honestly, not that bad. We could still one-shot the mobs, so entrance was kind of easy to clear. Obviously, you just gotta kind of do a few entrances, level up your catacombs level, and then get better armor if you're still an ender armor doing dungeons. But apart from that, I think that's all good. Okay, now onto the final armor set of the video. This one is another really old one. That used to be one of the best armor sets in the game, but it's kind of just fallen into obscurity now. And this is the armor of growth. The armor of growth used to be one of the most tanky armor sets in the game, mainly because of just how much health it gives you. The armor set gives you like a solid 200 health per piece. Also, for every monster you kill, you get one health, and it only max out at 100, so it's extremely easy to max out. And you also heal 1% of your health, so the armor's basically got like a built-in life steal to it, what I think's kind of cool. So yeah, back in the day, this used to be up there with hardened diamond armor. It was the creme de la creme. I've already got this armor set maxed out, so no need to do that stuff. And you know, wh when your entire armor set's a bit of wood, the only accepted weapon is an axe. So I just got myself this sharp raider's axe. Pretty much maxed out, apart from a few hot potato books. Well, we, we're not gonna bother with, because because I'm really not that rich right now. I'm, I think I'm just gonna try and run a floor one in this, because it's, it's only slightly more tanky than the ender armor. And you know, it's it's not the best. But I think the life still will kind of carry us here. Okay, let's just do this. I mean, there's three other people with berserk class. Oh god. I didn't even select a pet. Are you not? Because we got a tree armor, so I'm just gonna use my monkey pet here. Let's just open this wither door and try and go in. Oh my god, there's a lot of things. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got immediately just tapped to death. Oh my, there was like 50 crypt dreadlords, like seven crypt lurkers waiting behind me there. That was not great. That was really not great. I do once again want to get to a room so I can kind of test out my damage, but, but ideally a room that isn't entirely filled with like 90 quadrillion mobs ready to throw things down at me. But we do around 18k damage per crit with this, which is absolutely terrible because the armor doesn't give any base damage and also we've, we're only running pure so we don't have the fierce boost. And it's rare as well so we get way less reforged stats and we just started to a crypt looker but with like a regular hit. Oh my god. Zombie grunts are so hard to kill. It's so weird I can't one shot these. The floor one zombie grunts. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I Okay, 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 okay. I gotta get out of here. I love how I get like twice the amount of health with these rotten leggings than, than the armor set that was literally made to give you a load of health. This is a boss rush one, so I might do an entrance floor after this so I can kind of try and do some stuff and maybe try and kill some mobs without dying. And I died to bonds. No, I died to one of the undead. Okay. Oh, look, there's a fellow Raider Axe user. He's also a tank as well. He's, he's gonna be tanking out so much in his lapis armor. It's gonna be insane. I don't get these entrance parties. It's literally a tech tac toe and our entire team is just sat in there. Like, why? Why? You need what? I don't know. Okay, let's just let's just take out these dudes. We get we get the bloodlust from our thing. Oh, <gasps> I lost. I lost my worst enemy. Something that can probably one-shot me. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna hit him once and get him down here. Oh my god, he's like comboing me in the corner from like 50 miles away without even using a bow. Let's place down a power orb and no. No, that, that just didn't want to happen. Wait, wait, Ragnarok, get him, get him, get him. I mean, actually, no, they do zero damage. I'm auto-reviving. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm gonna place on the power orb, and this dude's got nothing on me. He's got absolutely zilch. Who does he even think he is? Boop. Hello, you can't hit me up there. I'm just gonna evade you all your arrows and come down and wombo combo you into oblivion. Or not, or not, or maybe you can just heal up again because you have, like, infinite regen, so I love it. Okay, I'm gonna... I was gonna say I was gonna lure this to the rest of my team, but I mean, I died before I could. <laughs> Maybe you just gotta stick with our team instead of running off like I normally do as Berserk. No, 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 That does not look like a good place to be. I'm gonna get my training weights and I'm gonna dip. Honestly, from these two armor pieces that I've got from drops, how much more effective HP do I get? So right now I'm on 9.3k, then these two rotten pieces that I just got from random zombie drops. I'm on 12.5. This is such a terrible armor set. Surprisingly, I don't think I can recommend armor of growth for dungeons. I just, it may come as a massive shock to you. It's really just not that good of an armor set for dungeons. I may get a lot of backlash for saying that. I know it's really popular among the dungeon running communities and stuff, but I, I just feel like there's better sets. I mean, maybe if they added wood essence into the game, potentially, potentially best armor set in game, maybe. Let's try and take out a yellow room lost of this. What one's he? It's a holy dragon. Let's get, let's get some holy fragmentes. You, you wanna, okay, there you go. You're on me. I'm gonna do the drops. I'm, and the and I'm just gonna run. Go, go, go in, Andrew. Go in, Andre. Go in. You got him. You got him. You got him. Okay, no, no. <laughs> help, help me, Andre. Help, 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 help. Okay, the healing circle saved me, and I'm confused of which one's the which one's which. They're both green men. They both look like the Hulk from the hit Marvel film, The Hulk. No, Andre. <laughs> you were my only hope. Okay, actually, no. The fairy room. The fairy room. I have a chance. Come up here. I know you want to chase me. I know you want a bit of this bark. Okay, perfect. Perfect. He's in the fairy pond. I physically cannot die now. That's just how the fairy pond and a healer works. Okay. I 
uh, wait, our teammate just completed the room again. Oh, okay, I guess we don't really do a full dungeons run, but we gotta be. And we, we can still kill this if they don't warp us out of the clothes. And there we go, we even got the frag. We did amazing that run. The best we could have ever done. Anyway, grow farmer down. And with that, I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you all so much for watching if you made it to this part. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.